Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. I hope you've all had a wonderful week and you're looking forward to a nice relaxing weekend. So today we are working on another apartment, of course, in San Myshuno. This is 18 Culpeper House and this is for a single father and um, triplet teenage girls. The chaos. I swear I say that every time and I say that I say that every time because I do. Um, <laughs> That was a great sentence. Um, but yeah, so we do have quite a lot of drama going on in this house. So the floor plan is a little bit funky, not gonna lie. Um, the bathroom is kind of like the same size as the father's bedroom, which is kind of strange, but it's fine. I wanted to do something a little bit different and this is the only thing that really worked, so it'll be okay. Um, the floor plan, like I said, is a bit unusual, but I still like how it turned out. And I like the uh, blue accents in this apartment, even though he has three daughters. He's kind of like trying to live his best life with a touch of aqua blue, but you know, it's fine. Also, I really need to stop eating chocolate before I do voiceovers because my voice is all like, <laughs> it's not good. Um, I need to stop doing that. But I do find it quite funny because I did go to college for performing arts. We had to do like vocal warm ups and stuff. Um, and I always got distinctions on my um, vocal exercise stuff and it was obviously don't eat anything that is like chocolate before you do singing because it's very like basically like glue to your vocal cords so I should be telling myself these things but you know I can't help it I'm obsessed with chocolate but anyway so moving on, on from my chaotic life we are back to the build and we are working on the lounge area i did decide to include this big bookshelf which is kind of a bit i don't know it's a bit too big for the space really but it's fine and maybe he's into books so he wanted a bookshelf that was at least something that he enjoyed and i kind of feel like the dad is maybe a bit of an introvert he's a bit quiet um he kind of keeps to himself maybe he likes gardening he goes to like the local um not park but you know garden area to kind of work on like eco stuff and he's kind of like you know that way inclined um and yeah that was kind of the vibe that i got from him and then the girls are very girly girls so a lot of pink as usual um and i did include quite a few backpacks in this room i think i only included two though um but you know it's fine um i wasn't really sure i wanted to put on this wall because i knew i wanted some color but i didn't want it to be like overwhelming because this room isn't very like vibrant you know um and i don't know i just wanted to make it feel more realistic without making it too in your face because i feel like a lot of the builds that i have done lately are very like bright and poppy and very I don't know what the word is, but just vibrant, I suppose. It's <laughs> the best way to describe it. So I didn't want to make this room too in your face. I wanted to make sure it was quite neutral. And I think I did that quite well with a bit of pop of color as well, of course. Um, but yeah, I do like that it's not too much. And yeah, so now we move on to the one and only bathroom that they do have. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment. Um, like I said, the floor plan is a little bit funky for today. I like to change up a little bit. And of course, because I am using it the same apartments over and over, I don't like to do the same layout because that gets really boring and it's not fun for you guys to watch the same thing over and over so I do try and change it up a little bit and I do like how it turned out but the bathroom is quite big and I would have preferred to have two bathrooms um but it's fine we we have enough space um but it is of course chaotic with three teenage girls and one bathroom um so they all want to shower they all want to do their hair they all want to do their makeup at the same time um I did also include this like mirror that kind of looks like a vanity mirror like on stage i think this is like a really nice touch it's kind of annoying that it didn't fit perfectly obviously because we don't have a mirror that is that size but it was the best i could do so i do like how it turned out um but yeah there's not much to my bathrooms like i said they're all kind of a bit lame um i still like how they look and i don't you know i'm not complaining but it's not something that i particularly love doing it's kind of like you know make it look as pretty as possible but just try and get out of the way with because i much prefer bedrooms um i think kitchens and bedrooms are my favorite rooms and bathrooms and dining rooms are my least favorite and lounges are kind of like in between um but it's fine we get through it um so now we're just working on at the uh, triplets bedroom like i said they are teenagers i kind of feel like maybe they're like 13 14 though they're not like older teens so they're still like you know well they are they're not tweens because they are teenagers but still quite young um i don't feel like they are like 18 19 year olds more like 13 14 so anyway you get what i mean um <laughs> I did give them two gaming computers and then one without one. Obviously, it's not particular for any twin. They twin. 
triplet <laughs> they can use any computer they want they don't have their own there's just kind of everybody and they do have one which is for their schoolwork as well which I thought was quite a nice touch because they didn't want too many computers in the room they need for some space to work as well so we did include one desk just for like craft stuff and for their schoolwork like I said and yeah I think this room turned out really nicely obviously I couldn't fit in um double beds so we do have single beds but I made sure that every single triplet had a different a different bed and a different swatch because I wanted them all to have their individual personalities and I just think it turned out really nicely it's kind of like a bit of every single color in this room not gonna lie it's kind of a bit much but also I really like how it looks I think it's like a bit different than my usual but still really bright and fun um, I like to make my teen and their children bedroom is very like bright and colorful and very full of life and the rest of the house I try to keep as neutral as possible but obviously lately I have been doing quite vibrant rooms but I feel like today's video is kind of a bit of like the perfect combination of what I enjoy a bit of neutral and a bit of pop of color and it just flows really nicely together basically um so yeah I do include some craft stuff as well and I put an easel in here because I kind of feel like they would be into art and they're all very like creative individuals and they like their color and I don't know that was kind of the vibe I got um the curtains that I included in the second they are a bit vibrant not gonna lie they're a bit bit much but you know it's fine I I do like how they look but they are a bit um in your face shall we say so I did include a pink wall because it kind of felt like it tied in a bit better together um I think the purple with the bright pink alone was a bit much so I kind of felt like the pink wall kind of like blended the vibrant pink curtains in a bit better in my opinion I hope you guys like it if you don't it's completely fine each to their own um so then we moved on to the father's bedroom this is quite a small bedroom like I said it's kind of basic the same size as the bathroom poor thing but we still fit in everything we needed um i do like this for post bed but i don't like it in screenshots i kind of feel like in screenshots it looks a bit odd um because it's hard to get a good angle in a small room um but you know it's fine it looks cute in gameplay mode so that's what we'll focus on but anyway i am going to end the voiceover by here for today guys i hope you all having the most wonderful day i wish you all the most wonderful weekend if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you all so so very much for your support of late i really appreciate it and i hope you're enjoying my content so feel free to leave a comment to let me know what you think and yeah i wish you all the best day i'll see you guys on monday most likely i'm sure i will i'm always around in the weekdays i'll see you guys on monday and yeah so i'll see you guys then thanks for watching bye guys